We are visiting with Sarah Garber from the Cameron Lady Dragons after an intense victory against the Hamilton Lady Hornets on Thursday night. Quite a ball game, huh? Oh, yeah. And that was something that I'm sure you were not expecting this evening. No. <laughs> and what did Coach talk about at halftime as far as you were down? It was 12 to 8 at halftime. What were some of the things that Coach talked about? Well, we just needed to speed the game up a bit because they were really dragging us down. And we need to keep playing good D and just go at them. Okay. And then the timeout uh, with about a minute to go, what was the message in the huddle as you were getting the ball back with a one-point deficit? A one-point deficit. Do you remember uh, that part? It's just crazy. It, it's all a blur, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it, was it crazy. goes so fast. Well, this is a great win, and you keep it going, okay? All right. All right. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Sarah Garver, Cameron Lady Dragon. We're visiting with the coach of the Dragons, Matt Wink, after the victory over Hamilton Thursday night. What a ball game. Were you expecting anything like this from David Prather's club? No, they ran that offense a little bit against us last year, but they weren't quite as deliberate. I mean, they were trying to score all the time. Uh, but I didn't, I mean, I didn't expect a 30 to 27 ball game. I thought it'd be, you know, we've been in the 50s and 60s lately, so they did a good job of slowing it down and give them credit. That was smart on their part. You know, you know we, we got some girls who can put it in the hole, so uh, take, take my hat off to them. And Sarah talked about it, but at the message at halftime, like Sarah said, I guess, was, hey, girls, we got to try to speed this game up that, a little bit. That's what we want to do. We want yeah. to speed it up. That's when we're at our best is when right. we're running and flying up and down the court. So, And we, we didn't do a great job of that in the second half, but we did a better job. And uh, We got a few steals when they're trying not to turn it over and just run, and run, run their offense, turn, and turn their offense over mm -hmm. every I mean, it seemed like we played defense for a or two every time down the court. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, it's not fun to watch, but, you know, if, you're, if you don't think you can beat us, then heck. Give it a shot. Yeah. Give it a try. Now, as I was talking with Sarah as well, at the one-minute mark, you're down by one point. What was the strategy? What was the plan? We're just going to run our zone offense and, until we got something that we like because we had a lot of time left. And I, I didn't really want to run a set right there because they didn't want to give them the ball back. So just patient, patient, patient until – broke down and we got a gap and yep. hit the running layup. All right. Well, great win for you. And, and you find out something about your club and, and how they can handle these kinds yeah, of situations. Yeah, it has a lot of adversity. Mm -hmm. when, you know, you get frustrated when you don't yeah. get to shoot the ball. and Can't play the pace. Do, do what we like to do. Right, play you know? at your pace. But So we're, we're becoming more multiple, I guess, a little bit. You bet. All right. Well, you get some well-deserved time off. Yeah, we're and, taking tomorrow off and yeah. Saturday off. We're going to have the girls over to my house tomorrow night to eat, so we'll Very have some good. fun tomorrow night. Good. They deserve it. And then Maryville Monday, what yeah. can you tell us about them? Uh, you know, they're having a little trouble this year, but they're, Grant's a good coach, and they'll be ready to play us. All right. Matt, congrats on the win. Thank you. Matt Wink, coach of the Lady Dragons.